In this video, we're looking at construction 11, which is asking us to sketch a triangle where they're going to give us the length of two sides and the size of one of the angles. In other words, side, angle, side, SAS. Now, the exam question that you do will depend on the sizes. In this particular question, I'm going to sketch the triangle with sides 3 and 4 and the angle created between them of 60 degrees. So on a sketch, just before we start our formal um, examination of this question, we're going to be given a length of 4, a length of 3, and an angle then of 60 degrees. So that's what they want us to construct. First thing we're going to do, in order to construct the length of that line here, the length of 4, I need to draw a ray and mark off the length of 4 centimetres on my ray. Remember, a ray is a line which starts at a point and goes to infinity. So with your ruler and your pencil, construct the ray. Again, it doesn't matter what length it is, so I'm just going to start here and I'm going to draw a line with my ruler. Again, of no particular length. Next thing I do is I'm going to mark some information on it. I'm going to mark that the point here at the start is the point A. And it's a ray, so it goes to infinity, so I'm marking my arrows to say that it goes to infinity. Now I want to mark in the length of my 4 centimetres on my ray. So I'm taking back out my ruler. And this time I'm going to use my compass here now to help me. So I'm going to mark off a length of four centimeters on my compass. So sit the nib of your ruler or of your compass at zero and extend the pencil out to four centimeters. Okay, that looks about right. And I'm now going to remove my ruler and bring the nib down to the point A. And I'm going to basically draw an arc here. Uh, which crosses through my line segment. So I'm basically just drawing an arc here, which now has a length of four centimeters. So we need to use our compass in order to measure that length of four centimeters. So with your pencil, mark in the length of four centimeters. I would also mark this point here where my arc crosses my ray, and I'm going to label that the point B, okay? and put a little dot there to denote that that's B. Okay, so that's one part out of the tree done. I have the four centimeters. Next thing I'm going to do is measure the angle of 60 degrees. So I'm going to use my protractor now for this section. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to measure the angle of 60 degrees. So I'm going to move the center of my protractor to the point A, just make sure that the little cross uh, corresponds to the dot. With my pencil, I'm going to come to the edge of my protractor and measure uh, the angle of 60 degrees, so it's the, the acute angle there. So I'm just going to put a dot um, where it is 60 degrees. And I'll remove my protractor. What I want to do now is basically connect A to this point. Now, it doesn't have to be a particular length. It's basically starting at A and going through the green dot. So I'm creating a ray, basically. So I'm just going to mark that dot a little bit thicker there so we can see it. Okay, so with your ruler, draw a line from A through that green dot. So I'm going to move my ruler over now, going through A and the green dot. And with my pencil, I'm going to draw that line starting at A and going through the green dot. So let me just straighten it up. And again, it doesn't matter where that green line goes to. So if I remove my ruler, I'm going to put the arrows at the top of that to denote that it is a ray. I now want to measure in this length of three centimeters on that line. So I need to, again, similar to the four centimeters, take out my ruler, use my compass to measure the three centimeters and then draw my arc. So I'm going to use my ruler and compass. So once again, sit the nib of your compass at zero. And now I'm drawing a line of length three centimeters. So move the pencil width uh, to a radius of three. So the nib of my pencil at three. And now I remove my ruler. I bring the nib of my compass down to A. So we're always using the point A for this question. And basically what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to draw an arc on this new ray. That's all I'm doing. So I'm drawing my arc here. And you can see that it isn't actually going through that green dot. That green dot was just a guide point. And now I remove my compass. So I have a lot of information there now I can fill in. I can fill in my 60 degrees that I've created now. So let's do that first of all. 
So my angle A is now 60 degrees. So write in your 60. And I know now that the distance from the red dotted A out to this arc is now three centimeters. So I'm gonna write in my three centimeters in length. And I'm also gonna label the point here where my arc crosses the point C. So I'm putting a dot here and I'm labeling it C. I'm practically finished. I have three pieces of information complete. I've the length of four, I've the length of three, I've the angle of 60. All I have to do basically is create that third side of the triangle, which is going to create C to B. So with my ruler. So I'm gonna slide it over here now to where it goes through the point C and B, and I'm gonna connect them with my pencil as best I can and I get the line going from B to C. And we have now created the triangle. Don't worry about these lines here uh, that are part of my original rays. They're part of my constructions and my rough work, so don't go rubbing them out. That is construction 11. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.